The Fujian Aircraft Carrier, officially named, People's Liberation Army Navy Fujian Ship, Hull No. 18, is the first Type 003 aircraft carrier. Named after Fujian Province, the ship is the second aircraft carrier designed and built by China itself, and the first aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy to use both a straight-through deck and electromagnetic catapult design. The Fujian is the first super aircraft carrier built and commissioned outside the United States. Commercial satellite images show that its flight deck is about 316 meters long, about 76 meters wide, and about 300 meters long at the waterline, which is about 10 meters shorter than the Ford-class aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy. It has a full load displacement of more than 80,000 tons, is conventionally powered, and uses catapult-assisted takeoff and arresting recovery. After completion, the Fujian will become the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier ever built outside the United States and the largest warship ever built in Asia. Construction of the Fujian began in the mid-2010s and adopted a modular production line construction model for aircraft carriers. According to foreign media reports, preliminary work began in February 2016. Fujian was originally planned to use two steam catapults, but later the electromagnetic catapult technology made a breakthrough and was ready for shipboard deployment, so it was decided to switch to electromagnetic catapults with higher catapult efficiency and better safety, and at the same time modify the hull, cabin structure and other subsystems to facilitate the electromagnetic catapult to be deployed on board. Due to the switch to electromagnetic catapults, the design layout of the aircraft carrier needs to be changed on a large scale, and the workload is huge. The construction of the aircraft carrier originally scheduled for June 2017 was postponed. By November 2017, the Navy had developed a ship medium voltage DC integrated power system to provide power for the electromagnetic catapult. Thanks to the electromagnetic catapult system, the number of aircraft catapults has increased to three. The hull module was moved from the manufacturing facility to the transfer area in May 2020 and moved to the dry dock in July 2020. By early September 2020, almost all keel and hull modules had been moved to the dock. Measurements based on satellite and aerial photography show that the ship's waterline length is about 300 meters, the maximum waterline width is about 40 meters, and the displacement exceeds 85,000 tons. On March 13, 2023, China Central Television released a picture showing that the smoke exhaust port below the waterline was blackened. The Fujian ship may have conducted auxiliary power tests, and the mooring test is progressing smoothly. The sea trial schedule is just around the corner. The Center for Strategic and International Studies, a U.S. think tank, released a report on November 21st of the same year, stating that according to satellite images on October 17th, the shelters covering the three electromagnetic catapults on the Fujian have been removed. By the end of November, a video of a catapult counterweight test vehicle falling into the waters in front of the Fujian ship circulated on the internet, which was believed to be the Fujian ship conducting electromagnetic catapult tests. On November 30th, the Chinese Ministry of Defense stated that the Fujian ship was conducting mooring tests. On January 3, 2024, the three electromagnetic catapult tracks of the Fujian ship were clearly visible, indicating that it has entered the final stage of construction, because the front of the flight deck is flat, more carrier-based aircraft can be parked on the front deck of the Fujian ship, which also makes its deck layout flexible which is conducive to the Fujian ship to dispatch carrier-based aircraft more quickly. On February 3, CCTV military released a side full-body photo of the Fujian ship on the 3rd, which once again aroused heated discussions among mainland netizens. On May 1, 2024, the Fujian ship set sail from the Shanghai Jiangnan shipyard dock to the relevant waters to carry out its first navigation test. On May 8, the Fujian ship successfully completed its first sea trial, which completed the test of power, power system and other equipment, and achieved the expected results. In December 2023, aerial photos showed that the scale model of the fifth-generation carrier-based fighter, J-35, was placed on the deck of the Fujian ship for relevant tests. 
Analysts believe that the J-35 will be equipped with a new generation of avionics and active electronically scanned array radars, and use new composite materials and new coatings to reduce weight, reduce radar reflection surface and optimize structural design. In addition, it is possible to switch to the WS-10 engine with thrust vectoring. Since the J-35 is an improved version of the carrier-based fighter that has been proven by time, it is easier to use in mass production, integration and training, so it should be equipped to the troops first. In addition, it is expected to carry a new KJ-600 fixed-wing early warning aircraft and a Hyg-20 general-purpose helicopter for transportation, search and rescue and anti-submarine purposes.